Good morning. On popular request, and several people are asking me about blocking net, I thought I'd let you know how to use blocking net. And when you, um, when we are talking blocking net, then I am talking about this stuff here. So traditionally, blocking net was called Paris net, and it was uh, available in all colors. It's material which was much, much thinner than this, uh, uh, had a little bit of sizing in it, and you could get it in colors to your colors of uh, straw hats because it was used for putting underneath a straw to give the straw body. You know, like for example, those floppy parasizers, they get stiff and very hard, but there's never that sense of body in it, what we used to have when we used to block uh, every crown with a Paris net underneath. Personally, I still have a stack you know, in my studio and also you can still get it in uh, uh, some suppliers, old suppliers in, in Europe who would have a stack. They probably very much looked through and, and bought out as well. But keep an eye out for the very fine one. It looks a bit like tutu net, but it's not tutu net. It has got sizing inside. So, and when you then use that blocking net, you spray this a little bit damp. Don't make it wet. Often, um, we, people are taught to throw it in a bucket uh, with water and uh, and then um, uh, you're taking the sizing out. Then I, I, you stretch this down. It stretches down super, super, super easy um, because it is so pliable, as you can see. You can use a hat, uh, an elastic to pull this down or a blocking spring, which makes this even easier. But the main thing is you want, you want to get rid of all the wrinkles because it has to be smooth underneath um, the, the net. And you do this all the way around to get that super, super nice and smooth. The amount what you want to be smooth under the hat because every crown has a different height and you will see this now as hats are coming back and being more worn you need to be able to choose the heights of crowns and uh, if they are lopsided or if they are um, um, symmetric so that becomes all a choice of the design and that depends then what do I put how how high do I put the blocking net underneath and uh, I'm calling it blocking net because it was later in life became called also cap uh, net some called it and it was used in the 60s to make flower uh, little things on the back of the head and at that stage it became very much a commercial um, a commercial use as we have also commercial things today so when you have got that this then uh, on your head see there's wrinkles there there that doesn't really bother me because I'm going to only use a shallow crown then you can use for example those um, paper straws which are quite hard to stiffen when you stiffen them with um, commercial stiffener, they often go dark and blotchy. And so if you put a blocking net underneath, then you are not having that problem. So then I can place this on top. It's also spray damp. I can take the same pin, what I have had in here with the blocking net and put this down right there. Take the pin out and replace it into the straw where it is in my way. Pop this down, stretching it. And again, a little bit of dampness is good enough. You don't have to make it super um, wet. And I prefer water on straws to steam because the steam takes much longer to get moisture in into the, the straw or in this case paper because they are paper twisted but you can make them look really nice and when you then have got this around see you've got that lovely block 
and when it comes off the block then it has a firmness it's not hard but it's firm a lovely body to the straw where you have a sense that the hat belongs to your head and is not this helmet uh, on top of your head where kind of knock knock are you there so i hope that helps and um, there's lots of uses you can have with it but this is one use for today have a great day